Hey Owners, it's me Sam YG and welcome to MF Home TV. Grabe. So I'm excited ako sa episode nito kasi as uh, you might know for me sleep is very important. Kaya mag-share ako ng tips, do's and don'ts to get better sleep at night. Ready ba kayo? Kasi ready na ako to get in bed with you. Number one, don't consume caffeine late in the day, no? Alam daming informer ng caffeine. Of course, pinakasiyat yung coffee. Pero alam niyo ba, yung mga nagtiti, haba may caffeine din yan. Ber- Ay! Hindi <laughs> lahat ng girls, ano ha, nagko-copy. Uso-uso ngayon yung milk tea na tinatawag nila. In English, boba. Boba, kapatid ni? Ang caffeine kasi nakaka-heighten ng nerves which also brings up your heartbeat which is not ideal at night. So, ideally, you have your last cup of coffee or tea mga 5 p.m. before the sun goes down for you to have a good and sound sleep at night. Tip number two, mag-exercise. Guys, I can't stress this enough. Uh, of course, you know I'm big on exercise but you need exercise too. Important then to create a healthy, you know, daily cycle when it comes to your sleeping habits. But minsan, you wonder why it's a gabi, di ka makatulog, you keep rolling in bed. Exercise is very important to regulate your sleeping patterns. Also, isang benefit ng exercise, healthy ka na, nakakatulog ka pa na maayos. Ito pa, number three, avoid bright screens. Ayan, text ng text. Kung sino 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 text, diba? Tulog dapat mga one hour before ka matulog. Get rid of your electronic devices. Kasama niyo yung mga TV, ha? Para your eyes get to relax also. Hindi lang yan. Yung brain mo at yung puso mo. Nakaka-relax. Can you imagine minsan, may ka-text ka, may ka-viber, tapos tinext mo yung crush mo. 30 minutes hindi pa nagre-reply. Ano nangyari sa tulog mo? O oh, hindi ka nakatulog ngayon. Sino may kasalanan? Ikaw din. Nag-break kayo ng ex mo. Tapos panay-check mo ng Facebook niya. Nakita mo eh, bago na siyang ka-akbay. Ngayon, Pini-figure out mo sino yung, sino yung lalaki yung babae. Ngayon, napatagal ka sa Facebook. Yung dapat na 5 minutes na pag-stock mo sa ex mo, 5 hours na. Girl, itulog mo na yan. Move on ka na. Eto, believe it or not, number 4. Dapat, lights off as much as possible. Yan. Because when there is light, it also stimulates your brain, which, you know, leads to you being awake. I'm not saying minsan may, may mga taong hindi comfortable na talagang total blackout. We're not saying total blackout, but as much as possible, keep the lights down as much as you can. It also helps you get better REM sleep at night. Yung mas mahimbing na tulog, yung sinasabi nila. Para, kasi minsan may tulog na pagkagising mo, parang pagod ka pa rin, di ba? Yeah, hindi, hindi lang yung mga bagong break. Nangyayari talaga yan, no? Pero, yung masarap na tulog na fully recharged and you wake up feeling fresh. Because freshness is... Beshness. Night besh. Tip number five. Mag-shower bago matulog. Bakit? Nakaka-relax ang shower. It puts your body and your muscles at ease. Preferably have a warm, hot shower. I mean, a warm shower. Pero, pag walang mayit na tubig, pwede na yung cold shower. Like I said, it helps, you know, ease your mind and relax your muscles so you can easily fall asleep. Also, alam ko naman marami sa atin nature lovers, di ba? Environmentalists. Don't forget to save water and shower together. Tip number six. Don't go to bed with a full stomach. Okay, plan your meals, no? Pag nag-dinner ka, kailangan you leave at least, you know, three hours before you go to bed. Kasi, ang hirap din if your body is digesting and your body is processing something while you're sleeping. Hindi efficient yan. Mas mabuti yung relax ang katawan na digest yung pagkain bago matulog. So like I suggest, you have to go to bed at least mga 3 hours after your last meal. Last but not the least, make sure your room, bedroom particularly, is in a comfortable and quiet location. The last thing you want ay may mga sumisigaw, may hindi na music, di ba? So ideally, bili ka ng bahay sa may bundok. Wala namang available na, na loto sa bundok. Meron tayong alam, tahimik, maaliwalas, beautiful environment. Yan ay pinatawag na Memorial Park. Walang Google sa'yo. 24 hours, tahimik. At walang kakaagaw. Hmm, diba? Joke only. But, like I said, napaka-importante. 
<laughs> ng ano, ng uh, sound, uh, bedroom, quiet place, even the aircon, yun, di ba? Kung maingi electrify mo, minsan magigising ka sa, sa hating gabi. And you want to avoid that. Because when you're at sleep, your senses have to be resting. Tahimik, sense of listening, di ba? Wala kang naamoy na funky smells, wala kang nakikita, kaya yan, kailangan lahat nakarelax. Ang tayo, tayong gumagana lang dapat na sense ay ang sense of touch. Para pag may gumapang, alam mo na merong tao dyan. Oh, no! Nag-enjoy ba kayo sa mga tip? Well, ito naman ang pinaka-importante para sa akin. Choose a comfortable and relaxing mattress. At the end of the day, dyan ka hihiga. At syempre, kung gusto mo, relax yung katawan mo, komportable ang tulog mo. Diba? Hindi masyado matigas, hindi masyado malambot. Each person has different preference. So, as I said, choose your mattress wisely. And what better way to select the best mattress rather than checking out Mandawe Foam. They have every mattress for your every body type, every need, every quality, and every budget. Oh, paano ba yan? Nag-enjoy ba kayo sa mga tip na to? Oh, hello. Gising pa ba kayo? Huh, kung ganun, paano ba yan? Tulog na. We're gonna see you at the next episode of MF Home TV. This is your Boom Bay, Sam YG, signing off. Pakipatay ang ilaw. Good night. Congratulations to last week's winner. Here is this week's prize.